Hey, Rory Singh here from thepowerhousemarketer.com. Today I want to talk about Barax. Apparently they got a fraud warning issued from the South African regulators, FSCA. Um, get into that in just a moment. If this is your first time um, on this channel, what I do every single day is I create content that helps people make money as well as save people money. So find the big red subscribe button. Even click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with a new piece of freshly created content, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to that very important information. Um, also, want to let you know about a very powerful affiliate marketing educational platform underneath this video. First link in the description. If you want to learn learn how to put yourself out there, how to make money online, uh, guys, the only people who that make the line shares of the profit in this industry are the people with skill sets so powerful educational platform underneath this video first link in the description um, taught me how to put myself out there what's more important than uh, the make money side of things yes you can make a lot of money uh, 40 to 60 percent commissions uh, highly commissionable products but what's more important uh, than the income potential is the training it has taught me how to put myself on several different leaderboards for several different companies alongside super affiliates okay so very powerful if you want to learn how to become a super affiliate you want to get on the leaderboards with super affiliates also before we get into barracks i noticed a few one or two of the heavy hitters in barracks was personally taught by the same guy that had taught me how to do marketing a guy by the name of david um that is the founder of the system lower below and the thing is, with even Barax, the people who make the line shares of the profit, aside from the anonymous people that own the company, right? Yes, I said anonymous people, are the heavy hitting marketers. <coughs> so if you want to get some skill set and learn to actually make money online, get access to that system lower below. Now, here's some other systems that I want to talk about before I get into Barax. Wiseling. I predicted Wiseling was going to scam exit and they did, you know, just a few days ago. Um, same thing happened with Mirror Trading International. Uh, also, Finalmente Global. So many of them. Torque Trading, Exit Scam, Exit Scams. Uh, investors lost the bulk of their money. And what did the platform owner do he went out and he bought a brand spanking new mclaren i believe it was six hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that car off of other people's blood sweat and tears so a lot of good content but also a lot of good predictions i predict the same thing's going to happen with barracks <coughs> i also noticed somebody uh hell did that guy there was a guy who did a review I think he got it to rank too let me just just bear with me for one sec I want to try something out here yeah here it is somebody wrote an article three days ago they actually stole my image um, it says right here Barack's review photo source internet rory singh medium okay um i wrote an article on medium too as well and this guy here this is one of the recruiters uh nowanko chaka chaka wubuka okay and i'll get into his article in just a moment okay but this was my original review i got 37 claps Holy smokes. I didn't even check the stats on this article. I wasn't even going for claps. Um, I don't really write too much for uh, Medium since it's I don't own the platform, right? And you never know. I don't like putting my... The only place I put my content uh, that I feel good about putting my content on a platform that I don't own is YouTube. But I did a review on Barax. I didn't recommend it. Um, we're going to get into the FSCA as well as a domino effect that might happen with other regulators. Okay, Because these guys in South Africa, the regulator for South Africa, are threatening 
to <coughs> they're claiming that they're going to tell the regulators the ASI the ASIC in Australia that Barax is not registered and what they're doing so this can trigger a scam exit because a lot of the investors the a lot of the potential investors from here on in um, are going to see these type of reviews and they're also you know they're getting publications from the regulators themselves and it kind of triggers a domino effect we'll get into all that in just a moment okay but <coughs> here's the problem with these systems you've got fake people brandon watts who they started out as the ceo right um paid actor fake identity you guys don't believe me some of you know this right but other people you're not unsure here's the same thing with wisling i said the same thing was going to happen it's going to crash scam out affiliates and network marketers they argued with me tooth and nail Someone the other day said, hey, Rory Singh said he, that he hates MLM. I never said that. I've been in this industry <coughs> for three decades, since the late 80s. I used to go door to door selling water filters, building a team, belly to belly, lotions, potions, and pills. And finally, I got tired of that stuff, came to the internet. Now I you know, build teams without ever having to talk to anyone or even picking up the phone. Awesome stuff. I love it okay get people coming to me instead of the other way around internet <coughs> just makes way more sense but fake identities and even the police came out and said in Finland that the two main guys running Wisling weren't actually running it they were just paid actors this guy here somebody i mean i i don't even know who would trust a, a mugshot like that but people one guy put in five hundred and eighty thousand worth five hundred and eighty thousand dollars worth of bitcoin that he invested proudly into wisling and lost it all to a guy like this look at this guy right so we'll get back here Brandon Watts and um, Susan Pulp. Innocent sweet face. Fake identity. Same thing. Some of you are going to argue and say that's not true. We're going to see how this unfolds. Eventually, Barax is going to scam out and a lot of people are going to lose money and then everything is going to get on the surface. But that's what you're dealing with. <coughs> now, I did a review on it, exposing the truth. And it did pretty well. I got 37 claps from, I'm not even after claps, but apparently a lot of, a lot of um, the actual paid subscribers in Medium who write stuff, right? Who write just because they love to write. <laughs> I got a lot of traffic to this uh, article here. Anyways, um, it, it, it sh I'll, I'll include a link to my original article. And I also want to show you this guy here. Nuanko Chukawu. Sorry uh, if I'm butchering the guy's name. I'm trying to pronounce it. Stole my picture. And this here, I know, he copied and pasted it from another website. Um, but some of the stuff he wrote and what it's doing is the simple strategy involves two steps he's trying to sugarcoat people and trying to recruit them right but based on the fsca ruling here hopefully this guy is not in south africa hopefully this gentleman doesn't reside in south africa because according to the fsca they're claiming that it's a criminal activity and anyone getting caught promoting, even if as network marketers in, in South Africa, they can get investigated, they can get charged, they can get put in front of a judge and convicted and even thrown into jail. They're considering it criminal activity and they're treating it with that type of, you know, fingerprinting the works. 
Okay, so hopefully this gentleman who wrote this sugar-coated version of the story and included his uh, his link up there. Now the thing is, what did he even? What is he even telling you in this review that you can actually somehow he got it to rank <coughs> in place of where mine was? Interesting. My article was somewhere up here on page one of Google. Oh, so that's what he did. He put that picture. Internet Rory Singh medium source. Oh, as a, like a kick in the face. But what I'm going to say here. The gentleman, hopefully he's not in South Africa because the authorities do review my reviews as well as other reviewers who have a big following okay they may even look well anyways they should check his article out because it's quite interesting it's just sugarcoating people um a bs story to get them taking a little chance with them with money you can afford to lose so pretty well nuanko is telling people that you guys can make money without recruiting but what is he trying to do he's trying to recruit you some people are going to say some bullshit about me that oh i've got a link but i am promoting a training platform that can teach you how to build your mlm right it's training it can teach you how to build your affiliate marketing it can teach you how to build teams it's not something where I'm saying it's not even in competition with Barax. But you guys don't have to join me. I suggest if you want to make money online, find something that's legitimate, right? <coughs> and join that. There's some awesome programs out there. Even, even some really cool, uh, there's a company called Melaleuca, right? Some great products. Amway is still around, right? You guys could get into, been around forever. There's some real big dogs in that way legitimate they got a lot of retail right some real big mlm companies that are legit lots of them find one of those and promote those but i would say stay away from uh, these people telling you guys you don't have to sponsor and recruit just so they can recruit you into the scheme now, let me close this off before I read that FSCA report. Here's an Alexa.com search for Barracks.com, as you can see up here. United States, most of the traffic is coming, 11.3%. 10% from South Africa, almost 11%. And Canada, 9.1%. Now, another thing, they're not registered in the U.S. with the SEC. Uh, as you can see, South Africa is complaining because uh, a lot of network market, a lot of network marketing promotion going on, and it caught the attention of the authorities. It's not registered in any province in Canada. What can that mean? That means that most likely you're going to have a domino effect here. Now, these guys, I'm not going to read this all. I'll include a link to this FSCA warning about Barack's trading. FSCA warns the public against Barack's trading 19th February 2021. You guys can read it and they're also threatening to let the other regulators know starting with Australia. Uh, what are you going to expect from that? You can expect that it's a domino effect most likely they're going to get in trouble with the SEC as well as the Canadian regulators. Once something like that happens, recruitment is going to come to a standstill. And then the majority of the recycled funds that they're using to pay out. Um, yes, you can make some money with these platforms, but just in the beginning, the people who get in at the top, a few people at the top get to make the line shares of the profit but in order for a few people to make money in barracks a whole bunch of people gotta lose money it's kind of like stealing money 
uh, from the newer investors to pay out the older ones in a nutshell anyways this concludes my fsca warning against barracks from the south africa regulators i'll see you guys on the next review